Luciano Lopez. What a week, his seventh ATP title and his second ATP 500, of course, after winning here in 2017. I think once again it's Sue Barker with the questions. I was worried that you'd have the energy to lift that big trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah. How did you pull that, that off in the end, that type? I mean, every game he threw everything at you, didn't he? I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole match was very exciting, uh, except the first third where I think he didn't play very good. I took this. <laughs> I took this. Uh, Early said, but then he was getting better and better, and it was really tough for me to to find a way to win the points. He was so solid from the base, and I was trying to, you know, um, going going to the net, trying to be aggressive, but it was impossible. He was hitting, a, he was coming out with unbelievable passing shots from everywhere, and I, I was a little bit desperate, to be honest. <laughs> and then, you know, the tiebreak at the end was kind of a lottery. I mean, it can go either way, and it went my way. I'm so so happy right now. How special was that volley at 4-2? Wow, that was a great one, yeah. Because that turned it. Yeah, probably, yes, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. At these moments when you get these points, you know, in a tie break, when every, every point counts more than normal, it's, yeah, to get this point was amazing. What does it mean to you to win this trophy for the second time in three years? <sighs> um, I thought, I thought the best moment of my career was in 2017 when I was holding this trophy and I was talking to you here in this court. But it is not. <laughs> it is right now. We think that you are probably the first tournament director to win a prestigious title. Yes, I'm probably the first one. <laughs> so from one tournament director to another, Stephen Farrow, would you like to thank him for your wild card? I was going to I was going to I was going to say a few words for him, man, Stephen. I wouldn't be talking here without your help. Thank you for the invitation. Um, and you know, you are a great tournament director, much better tournament director than me actually. I'm learning a lot of things from this tournament. Um, this is the most amazing tournament for the players to play. You guys are unbelievable. Everything here is great. It's one of the most prestigious tournaments in the world. Every one of us feels so honored every year when we come here. So thank you for your effort, and uh, I hope we can copy a little bit, you know, in Madrid. <laughs> Have you got any energy left for another final? Oh, <laughs> not really. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to speak to Andy now. I think he he's going to be responsible today. Of uh, you know. <laughs> but no, I, I have you know my energy is you know unless I don't have so many energy in my body, but my adrenaline is so high right now. So uh, hopefully you know I'm going to play. Another finals now, it's gonna be great. Don't leave, don't move, stay here, go for another pimps. Um, it's gonna take only 30 minutes. And um, before I leave, uh, I want to mention one person uh, my girlfriend, well, wife to be. Wife to be. Because when we first met, he might have you know, heard about this tennis player, lefty tennis player from Spain. 
Uh, but to be honest, she doesn't, ha she doesn't have much idea about tennis. And uh, <laughs> when, uh, when we met, I started playing, and, and things didn't go well. I started losing and losing. So now I can, you know, show her that I'm a decent tennis player. <laughs> I'm so happy for you that we can share this moment together and uh, there's a lot of things to come this year in September and uh, you are the best Sandra, thank you for everything. Oh, thank you and thank you very much ladies and gentlemen, big favourite here at Queen's.